Welcome back to another episode of Applicable Science Podcast. I am here to offer you another Black History Month tribute. Today, we are talking about the father of Black history, and that is no other than Dr. Carter G. Woodson. Dr. Carter G. Woodson was born in New Canton, Virginia, and he was a son of former slaves. During his lifetime, Dr. Carter G. Woodson, he saw the importance of the philosophy of history. He saw that history wasn't just a mere gathering of facts. It wasn't just about wars, politics, but it was about the social conditions of the people being studied throughout history. So with that, Carter G. Woodson, he was disturbed by how the black population was being written out of American history. And he sought to challenge himself to get black Americans written back into American history. So Dr. Carter G. Woodson, he believed that black people should understand their past in order to participate intelligently in the affairs of the country. He believed that black people needed to know their history because it was important to young black Americans in order to build themselves up and then become more productive citizens in society. So Dr. Carter G. Woodson, he established the Association of the Study of Negro Life and history. And then the following year, he published the Journal of Negro History, which is one of the oldest learned journals in the United States. And then in 1926, he developed Negro History Week, which is now Black History Month. And in 1937, he published the first issue of Negro History Bulletin. So as we know, as was just stated, Black Negro History Week is now Black History Month. And one message that Dr. Carter G. Woodson wanted to press was that Black people should be proud of their heritage and that other Americans should understand Black history as well. And so one other thing that Dr. Carter G. Woodson wanted to push was that at, the, at the, that time, Negro History, Black History Month was important and necessary, but he hoped one day that there would be no need for a Black History Month because Black history would be American history and people would understand how Black Americans are an integral part in American history. So with that, there is still a need for Black History Month and to further inform people about the need of Black history and how it has impacted American history. However, due to Carter G. Woodson's efforts to push Black history back into American history and the awareness of it, we are much further along than if we were not to have it. But I would like to thank Dr. Carter G. Woodson for pushing the narrative and for establishing Negro History Week to then have Black History Month. And with that, stay tuned for tomorrow's Black History Month tribute and happy Black History Month.